or is there this? I want to say that I'm sick, so yeah, that's fun times. Hey everyone, it's Ollie, and I am back with another Top 5 Wednesdays video for you all. The topic for this week is worst love interest, and it can be male or female. So my list is probably pretty generic, but there are probably a lot of good characters that other people have put down for this, but these are the, the characters that I know. So yes, this is my personal top five list of the worst love interests in books number five. My number five for this list is Katniss from The Hunger Games. And the reason she's my number five is because she's not the worst. She definitely has this sort of stoic, I don't really want to be in a relationship with you kind of thing going on. Like how she is with Peta, she sort of acts um, like she's interested in him. And in the end, she might seem like she is, really, but I still find her very stoic um, in terms of romance and stuff, and I guess that's why she's number five. She's not the worst, but definitely not the best. Number four. And number four on this list is Lavender Brown from Harry Potter. She is very obsessive over Ron, and she would go to any lengths for him to like her back. It's been a while since I've read Half-Blood Prince, but I believe that she slipped Ron a, a love potion, which is a really terrible thing to do, especially since, like, in this in the world of Harry Potter, it's basically, you know, raping someone, if if that makes any sense. They aren't truly consenting, so with the love potion, it's, I think it's a very difficult topic to discuss, and um, let's just say that love potions don't typically end well since they did happen to create Tom Riddle. So yeah. But, you know, Lavender is all around obsessive and really jealous and she won't stop at anything to at least get his attention, which is very weird and obsessive, and it's kind of pretty terrible. Number three. I was originally going to put Edward Cullen as my number three on this list. However, I mean, I suppose I could probably slide him in here as well because, you know, his stalking and everything is going after girls that are centuries younger than him, and vice versa, but for this, I I went with Bella because she, much like Katniss, is very stoic and doesn't really show a lot of emotion in terms of romance, like, what she'd prefer. And while it could be a lot worse, there's definitely something that I can't quite catch that puts me off about it. Any set of romance between Bella and a character. Number two. Number two on this list is Four from Divergent. Now, if you've seen some of my other top five Wednesdays videos, you could probably tell that I I don't really like four 
I'm not a big fan of him. And just there this is another character that I don't know why I feel this this particular way about them. I just do and they and I have this feeling about them that just make them a really terrible love interest. I don't know, Triss, um, in the first book was 16, and 4 was, while only like 18 or 19, which isn't a terrible age gap. At the time when I was first reading the books, it, it sort of seemed like it was a big age gap, and it was sort of like taboo, even though there's not too much of an age gap there, like two or three years at the most. So that's what sort of originally put me off from it. But now, as a 19-year-old who is dating someone who is almost 17, it, it doesn't really phase me that much anymore in terms of their age difference. But I still have this off feeling about four. There is something about him that is just seemingly um, vain, manipulative, and I just don't like it. He seems just like a really terrible and self-centered person to be a love interest. Number one. My number one worst love interest is probably very, very obvious, and that is Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey. Surprise, surprise. Of course he had to make the list because he is a terrible, terrible human being. He is jealous and manipulative, and he treats Anastasia like an object. And he is very uneducated about BDSM and everything. Like, the series and Anastasia's point of view sort of makes it seem like he knows everything and he's this rich, smart guy who knows everything about sex. But in reality, he doesn't know a whole lot. And he's... Um, Manip manipulative in that way too like he manipulates her into signing the contract even though she doesn't even read it um from what i've guessed from watching a, a cinema sins version of of a movie like i've i've watched that um but i haven't watched the actual movie and i've only read a few snippets of some of the books, and from that I gather that he is just a manipulative dick and would not be the best love interest ever. In fact, he would probably be one of the worst. So yes, that is my top five worst love interests in books. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you agree, disagree, just let me know in the comments um, if you have anything to add, maybe. That would be cool. So yeah, stay tuned for a book haul coming up soon from me for the month of February. And then soon after, another Top 5 Wednesdays video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!